Never in my life have I heard that much gobbling. There's so many birds back here, it's unbelievable. The hens were roosted near me, so yesterday I could hear the birds in this area that I'm sitting right now. I was up in the field, and it seems like they don't go right into that field, they skirt around it and kind of stay on the lower elevation. So I snuck in here this morning, really early, way before light, and it started getting lighter. There was a bunch of hens kind of in front of me, surrounding me, you know, within 50 yards. But all the gobblers were a little bit further down, down the river. They were maybe, you know, 100, 120 yards. And I could hear them fly down. I kind of figured, well, maybe since there's hens here, they'll uh, bring the gobblers this way like they did yesterday. And sure enough, I just listened to those gobbles and I got closer, closer. And I could hear the, the leaves rustling. I knew they were, they were getting here. And then out of the corner of my eye, I could finally see them. Yeah, look at this behind me. I, I had kind of figured, you know, as I came off the field, it was super thick and I was going real slow, trying to be quiet this morning, setting up here. And then I figured, there had to be like an open area further down here and sure enough, you can see right on the path that the scholar was going, it's just wide open. I'm sure they just strut right down all the way along through here. It's got some decent spurs on him. This one's about an inch, I'd say. This one actually is broken off. It's about three quarters right now, but it would have been the same size. It just sheared straight off. Got a nice, nice full fan on him. Good sized beard, it's a great bird. Extremely exciting hunt this morning, just hearing all those birds. I didn't even need to do a lot of calling myself. You know, a lot of the times when I try and do hunts like this, I do a lot of hunts where I try and roost the birds to get in tight and just kind of let the birds do the work for me. And I do that a lot of times because I work during the week. So if I didn't always hunt, try and hunt the roosts, then I'd only have the weekends to hunt essentially, but by doing this kind of stuff, I'm able to then get in those early morning hunts throughout the week and still get into work on time.